It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 28th of January. I'm James Spann. A nice mid-winter day today. Thankfully, the weather today, nothing like this. Does anybody remember what happened one year ago? Snow jams, snowmageddon, whatever you call it. Uh, Birmingham with two inches of snow, but temperatures were at 20 degrees. And uh, because of the extreme cold, we had some melting initially of the snow, a flash freeze, a layer of ice, and this happened. And, of course, the event wasn't forecast well. And everybody tried to go home at one time, and it was a mess. And uh, this is the anniversary of that event. So we can be thankful for today. This is the uh, big picture Trough on the east coast that brought the blizzard is gradually rotating offshore. We have a dry northwest flow aloft. Pretty cold to start the morning. Birmingham down to, uh, down to 29. It's 26 in Haleyville. We'll expect mid-50s today with a bright sunny sky. These numbers about average for late January. Around the nation, pretty cold in the east, but boy, warmed up yesterday over the plains and uh, down into Texas. We saw some low 80s into parts of Kansas yesterday for record highs. Very quiet as the big northeast blizzard is over across the nation. Hardly any watches or warnings. Here's the overall rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning of next week. And this is suggesting rain amounts of roughly one-half to one inch here. And the bulk of that will be Sunday and Sunday night. All right, model fans, the GFS. This is the 06Z run at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Trough off the Atlantic coast. Northwest flow aloft, a dry air mass, and a sunny day, mid-50s today. Tomorrow, it's a clipper passing north of the state. The surface low is over Detroit. That'll drag a cold front down through here. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, and you can see evidence of a little narrow band of light showers on that surface boundary, so we'll mention that chance. Obviously, rain amounts very light and very spotty tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, and we should warm up in advance of that surface boundary with low 60s likely tomorrow. And then Friday will be a cool and dry day. We start the day in the 30s. The high Friday will be in the lower 50s. And Saturday as the weekend begins should be a sunny day. Probably be in the 20s early Saturday morning, but the high should be in the 50s, much like the weather today. We note the next weather system to the west producing rain over Texas. And this is Sunday. And again, the, the system of the West kind of lifting out in two phases. The first phase is the trough over the Great Plains. Part of that hangs back over the Gulf of California. And that kind of could set us set up another rain event maybe toward the middle of next week. But this is Sunday. We go wet. There is a surface low near Memphis. This is Sunday at noon. And at 6 o'clock, the low deepens as it moves northeast. And by golly, there could be some thunderstorms if this is right. No severe weather, but... Uh, uh, you might hear some thunder, and this could be a pretty good rain event. Uh, this is looking more and more like a lot of folks might see one inch. And, of course, the snow is north of the surface low. Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Detroit. And then Monday morning, 6 o'clock, the surface low is down to 991 millibars around Philadelphia. And that's going to be a good snow there for West Virginia up into New England. Like, they need more of that. And uh, you can see potential for snow down into uh, the mountains of East Tennessee and Western North Carolina in a chance of snow flurries here Monday morning and very strong north winds, uh, cold air advection. Monday's going to be a cold day uh, with a high only in the may maybe low and mid 40s. And again, we'll mention a chance of morning flurries with no impact. And then at noon, the uh, flurries have lifted out, but it's just uh, windy and cold. Tuesday of next week, cold air stays in place. I'm not so sure we get out of the 40s, maybe touching 50. The sky will be sunny. And the next phase of that thing comes in here Wednesday with a surface low in the Gulf and a chance of rain again, um, but not cold enough for snow. And then later, this is Friday. It's still unsettled, and a surface low is lifting up across the Appalachians. And this is suggesting, if this is right, and understand this is in the land of voodoo. This is more than seven days out there. But this would suggest a chance of snow for Nashville, Memphis, and Muscle Shoals. But again, this will, this will change. 
as you look. We show you this stuff because you've been watching these videos for years. You understand how it works. You know the limitations out here. But just something to watch. And this is the uh, the 6th of February. And uh, you can see a strong trough digging through here. And that system is lifting out. And it's very cold. I mean, that's a pretty cold air mass. In fact, look at the temperatures coming off the ensembles. You can see the cold shot uh, early next week. And really, it stays pretty chilly with highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s for much of uh, uh, the end of next week. Uh, so temperatures below average. The Arctic Oscillation goes negative and then tries to go back positive, and the NAO goes negative and goes negative again later in the month. I, I get the idea of February might be an interesting month here. We might have some flirtations with winter weather mischief. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.